my name is Alshmita. Welcome to my studio here in London. Um, I've just moved in recently. Before this, I was at a studio in the Griffin Gallery, uh, where I had won the Griffin Art Prize in November 2012. So with that, I had a six-month studio residency and a solo exhibition um, in September last year. So um, I've moved out of there, now I'm here. So this is where I'll be making my work um, for the next little while. I've always been really interested in history. I think it's an inseparable part of our identity. So it's always been a really important uh, theme in my work. Um, I'm interested in historical memory and uh, in relation to the functioning of social structures. Um, I'm interested in the relation between personal memory and collective memory, how the two um, impact one another and um, essentially how they influence the way that we perceive our own past. Um, so I've, with that, I've built up my own um, sort of visual language um, where I work a lot with the uh, figure-space relationship. Um, I use a lot of architectural elements in my work. Um, I think that architecture itself is a really important symbol for history. It's a kind of record of time, of trends, of different political ideologies come and gone. So I think with that, um, I've kind of started to use architecture as the main symbol for the, um, for the concerns that I'm dealing with in my work. Um, for a long time I had been um, working only on with 2D media, so with painting and drawing. Um, but in the a recent couple of years, about two or three years, I've started to include um, the sculptural element as well. So now I work in a way where all three media come together in a kind of installation environment, um, which I think works for me because um, I'm able to engage with the viewer in, on another level. Um, I'm able to um, engage the viewer more physically um, without them necessarily becoming a part um, of this world um, that I've created. Um, so I've been working with uh, these concepts for a while and I think I'll be developing them in the future as well. Um, I'm interested in, in pushing the, the, the kind of idea of the installation a little bit further um, and then possibly uh, working around with, with different scale, possibly even trying um, the medium of, of video, so we'll see how that goes, but um, I'll be working towards a solo exhibition which will be taking place in the south of England in um, this coming year, uh, at the end of the year, so I'll be working towards that um, for the next couple of months. I was asked to be a part of the 100 London Artists iBook um, recently, in uh, last October. This iBook um, was composed um, by Xavier Ellis um, and Edward Lucy Smith. Um, I've known Xavier Ellis for um, a couple of years now. He was one of the judges um, on the panel for the Griffin Art Prize. So since then he's kind of um, kept an eye on my work and we've, we've you know, uh, been in contact. And um, so he approached me about um, becoming one of the artists in the, in, the, in the book. So of course I agreed to that and that's how I, I got to be in the 100 London Artists Library.